What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we are back with a Pokemon Masters video. It has been quite a while since we've had any Pokemon Masters content and the reason is honestly the game just has been kind of boring. The events are nothing special and a lot of the scout pairs that they had for the banners honestly didn't interest me uh, but that has changed with the new event so we're going to be talking about the event itself uh, the new scout pair available to pull and then we're going to try to pull it I only have 15,000 gems uh, and uh, so that's like you know the overall state of the game is is not bad but it's just so expensive like if you do want to get sync pairs and if you're going free to play like I am you know hoarding basically since launch uh, minus the two ten pulls I got for basically all the free to play gems, but then once the game launched, uh, basically saving up all of those plus the 6k that they gave for compensation, I'm still only at 15. So I have five cracks at pulling the new sync pair. But uh, to start, let's go into the event itself. We have the girl in black and white event. <laughs> How are they coming up with these names? That kind of sounds like they had a specific name event and like they instead of having real people translate uh, the event they just do it in Google Translate or something. But um, you know it's very similar to the blue event. I guess that's one sync pair that I kind of passed on because I felt like eh, it's the first one and uh, I bet it will be power creeped out. Um, blue is still good but hey maybe we'll pull blue as well. For the reward summary, kind of you can just focus on this left column, get the first clears, get the mission rewards, get these three uh, five star power ups, even though I don't think you can use them yet. And then, yeah, the other stuff is I wouldn't worry about. Uh, and so, this is you know, you do get some gentles at 600. Oh, god, that's so little, like that's enough to do two single summons. That's so this this event is like super stingy, or this game rather, is super stingy, and I definitely on the side of it's not fun enough for me to spend money on it like I, I don't think it's that bad if people are enjoying it then like by all means like you know go uh, you know you can go you know pay to win but I'm going to at least for for now you know stay away from that but I am very interested in Hilda uh, pulling Hilda in Tepig We'll get into the scout pair specifically later, but yeah, just make sure you go through the event. Even if if you can't beat the hard, that's okay. Uh, but just make sure you pick up those five star tickets. And uh, yeah, you know, as long as you can get one victory from that uh, take down Hilda round two to secure that. But if you can't, you know, you don't lose out that much. The tickets and these rewards aren't that important. You can just farm the normal one to get it. So in the normal, like you know, I just threw in my Olivia and just auto, no problem. And um, all right, but to go into the new scout pair. One thing I'm disappointed is on the Pokemon Master subreddit, it's still just like all memes. There's, I, I didn't really find any content of people weighing in whether or not this is worth pulling. And this is the only place I found is like, should you pull Hilda and Tepic? Too long didn't read. Yes. <laughs> I was like, all right, maybe this is, maybe it's finally time I've been itching to, to do some summons and maybe now's the time you should pull this in the current meta. All right. Um, I will say though that this kind of character usually doesn't interest me where he is his primary attack does have recoil so you do damage to yourself however the argument is that well you do have some extra health rank 1 in health and the attack stat is pretty good and the flare blitz is actually quite strong uh, starts at like 123 and it does do 25% though recoil back to yourself so you know, this. Uh, the thing is, I think maybe that's, oh, or hoping that's okay. You just have to go all in the beginning. You won't do, win any kind of long battle. But, you know, I feel like most attack focused characters are basically like that, they're essentially glass cannons. And so maybe we can make that work. But uh, it does, he does have potion to try to prolong the life. I think it's actually female. Um, but, you know, Whatever, potion is not that good. Flame charge does can increase or does increase speed. However, it is not very strong. So, and then, but uh, the really cool thing is this attack right here. Try and stop us. Let's take a look. If the user's speed has been raised, raises the user's attack by double. By 
double, that is insane. So all we have to do is pair this with some kind of support that can raise our speed, and then you pop this and you kind of get that max attack buff, and then you start going, you know, yeah, it's kind of like a suicide mission, but you basically do all your DPS um, and then go for the win. And who can do that? So who has X speed all? There is Marley and Arcanine. So I don't believe I have Arcanine, but uh, that would be the perfect pairing for this one where it's, uh, yeah, X speed all. Let's say on block status conditions of uh, allied play, field of play. Interesting. So yeah, actually this Arcanine seems like a very good um, buffer support. And especially with the X speed all, sharply raise everyone's speed. Try and stop us, raise your attack, and then go all out with Flare Blitz. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward game plan. I like the idea of focusing on pulling the DPS characters while I'm sure like Meganium is probably like, super strong and stuff like that and other supports. I, In my opinion, a lot of times for these kind of gacha games, you basically, it's mandatory to have a very strong DPS and then sometimes you can squeak by with four star like supporters in tanks like that. So that's what I'm hoping for. You know, I haven't, I honestly haven't cleared the content. I've kind of just been doing dailies and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so make sure you do the missions, uh, get your 600 gems, get those three five star power ups. And then um, yeah, if you're pulling for Embor or Hilda, uh, best of luck to you. And uh, let's get into our own summons. All right, so we are in the game. Haven't pulled since, well actually the, by the, when I did pull, it was back before the game actually officially launched. So it's been a really long time. We have managed to accumulate 15,000 gems. So um, I'd really rather not go all out, but if we pull like absolute garbage, we'll, we'll probably use it all. Um, hoping that's not the case. This uh, free to play life is pretty tough. So. Um, yeah, I guess they're still Hibbert, but uh, the reason I kind of, any kind of like supporter role, I'll probably try to stay away from. I'm sure they're super strong and stuff like that, but actually that one has the X speed all as well. But you know, I'm going to primarily try to pull for the DPS ones and go all on that. Let's see what the rate is. 7% and 2%. So if we do use all five, I guess we have a pretty good chance. I'm pretty sure this thing is nothing. All right, that's a terrible feature actually. And uh, let's get into our first pet, our first pull. 10 pulls, let's go. Come on, that would be amazing if we didn't have to use too many of these. Hear the sound. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. I don't remember this animation at all. <laughs> oh, is this is this the rainbows we're looking for? The rainbow background? Oh wait, I think it's the door thing. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, I think that's it. All right, let's see. We got Sophocles. Pelipper. All right, level two. As you can tell, I haven't pulled much. Like, what is this? Oh, level two. We're only getting our second Voltorb. We got Will and Zet too. Okay, another Pelipper. Come on, give me a five star. Ah, Crusher. Janine. Oh! <laughs> it only took one pull. Oh my gosh! Wow, that is so lucky. I can't believe that. A 2% chance and we used 10 pulls and we managed to get it on our first try. Man, I'll, I, I'll rag on this game, but it's it's trying its best to pull us back into this game. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe we got that right away. That is so awesome. So uh, yeah, maybe this uh, video won't be as long as I expected. And um, I'm pretty sure like 30, you would have to do so many of these. I feel like we just ignore this, but uh, Man, is it worth to pull this? I feel like Oshawott's not that good. All right, so I took a look at Oshawott to see if maybe I should pull on that banner because I'm feeling super lucky. But uh, I think I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna wait for the next DPS uh, banner to just focus on those. Again, my thought is, especially if you're going free to play and you only have so many of these gems, 
to focus on the DPS, in my opinion, and what my thought process here is that that will get me further in a free-to-play, um, you know, going about this free-to-play versus picking up a supporter. My guess is that you can only get so far with a supporter, but and you can get further with a five-star DPS and then like a four-star supporter and stuff like that. So we are going to pass, uh, but let's just power up this Tepig real quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have enough. 2,000. 2,000 of the strike stuff. Oh wait, that's just level one, the first level. But uh, yeah, I can't believe we pulled it. This is absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, look forward to some more content. We'll see if we can't do some new stuff with this new five star. And um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.